G'day and welcome back to the channel. So today we're looking at render in place. Now this is the best way to get really smooth playback when it comes to resolve. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do it and then we'll go through some of the benefits and then some of the problems that you may run into when it comes to this tool set. So we have this clip here and this is a clip from a previous video about doing slow motion with 25 frames per second. Now what you can do if we wanna slow this down is right click, come back to change clip speed and then we'll say it's 50%. Now, as you can see, we're getting really bad playback here and it looks terrible anyway. So we're gonna go to Inspector. Then we're gonna come down to Real-Time and Scaling just here. Our Real-Time Process, we're gonna change this to Optical Flow. Motion Estimation, we're just gonna change this to Speed Warp. As you can see, Resolve isn't gonna play this back at all because this is a very high intense tool and it's not gonna actually let you get that smooth playback unless you're running a amazing machine. So what we can do here to fix this up, and this will work with any computer. So even if you have a really terrible computer and you're using a really high resolution clip, if you just do this simple method, you are gonna get that smooth playback again with any computer you use. So what we wanna do is we wanna right click this clip to make sure it's highlighted, go up to render in place. Now, as you can see, Resolve's gonna give you some options to do. So I recommend using QuickTime, that is always the best for playback. And then DNX HD because I'm on a Windows and 720 for that smooth playback. Now this is usually a tick, but because we're not using Fusion, we don't need that Fusion. Now you wanna include video effects because this is this part here. So if we take this off, we're not gonna get that smooth playback at all. So you wanna make sure this is on. Now color grading, it doesn't really matter. We don't have any color grading effects on, so we can take that off. Now, there's a couple of things we need to know about render in place. And one of them is it takes a long time to render a single clip. Now, the other thing is, is that all these effects now are baked in. So what we'll do is we'll render this and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Then it comes up to a place where you wanna render your files. Now, this is also really important to remember where you're putting in these video clips because you can't delete them from Resolve. You actually have to find them later to delete them. So I've just made a folder called Render in Place. Now I'm just gonna click Select Folder. Now, as you can see, it's rendering and it's gonna take a little bit. And this is a really short clip too. So that's all done. And that took about 30 seconds just to delete this very short clip. So this clip is what, 44? It's about three seconds long. 30 seconds for a three second clip is a long time. But again, because we're using such a high intense tool set for our video clip, it's gonna take longer. If we weren't using anything whatsoever, we're just doing a render in place for a 4K clip with no effects, then it would be quite quick. So now if we play this back, we're gonna get that easy smooth playback. We're not gonna have a problem whatsoever. Now, another good thing about render in place is that if we make any adjustments to this clip, let's say shorten it, it doesn't have to actually re-render it and we're still getting that smooth playback. So that's really handy. So what happens when DaVinci Resolve does a render in place, it actually creates a second video clip on your computer. So if we go to our render in place folder, as you can see, it's this one here. So it's made a separate one. That's why it's really important to remember where you put that video clip because once you finish your project, you'd wanna come back and you wanna delete all those videos that you've created, otherwise they're just taking up unnecessary space. Because we can't actually delete this clip inside a resolve. So we go to playback, delete render cache, and then select all and delete. That's just deleting the render cache. That's not deleting your render in place. But one of the big problems with render in place is you can't actually extend your clip and all the effects are built in. Now we can extend it this way, but that's because we deleted it from that way. But if we want to extend it this way, we can't actually extend it any further. And another one is, is that we're working with 720 footage. We're not working with that high resolution 4K footage we were working on. So if we were to color grade this clip, we would want to be working on that original 4K clip. We don't want to be working on that 720 clip. Now, if we come up to file, as you can see, it says our video codecs up here. So that again, 720, our resolution. Now our frame rate says 25, even though we slowed this clip down, but that's just talking about the original frame rate, not the new frame rate we've created. So then how would we grade a clip that's 720. The easiest thing to do is just right click and go up to decompose to original. Now that's gonna give us that 4K footage that we're working on and we can extend it out any further that we'd want to. Another thing to be wary of is that you're not gonna get that smooth playback because you don't have that render in place selected anymore. So when you're doing grading, you may have to come back and re-render it if you wanna show your client that smooth playback if you're struggling with playback. One more thing is that when you go to the deliver page, you don't have to change it back to decompose to original. It does it automatically. So don't have to worry about that. So if you're freaking out that you've still in 720 after you've done the edit, it's fine, Resolve will figure it all out for you. Anyway, I hope that helps you out. If you are struggling with playback and Resolve, this is a really great way to get really smooth playback and you won't have to worry about anything at all. You could 
use any old computer and it's going to be perfectly fine. So thanks for watching. If you want to see anything else, make sure to comment below. And thanks for your time. I'm less hungover than I was yesterday, so I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gigo Productions.